Happy Sunday, everyone. First Lord Meteorologist Candace Bowling here. Since the tropics are such a hot topic, I thought I'd do my Sunday Science tidbit on the eyewall replacement cycle. But first, let's get this started with the basics of a hurricane. There are the rain bands that spiral around the eye and eye wall. The eye wall is where we find the most intense weather, including the strongest wind speeds. And the actual eye is rather calm compared to the rest of the storm. Now, typically, a hurricane has one eye wall, but in some cases, it can have a second one. This typically happens in the major hurricanes, like the Category 3s, 4s, and 5s. The concentric eye walls will start to undergo an eye wall replacement cycle where the outer one weakens the inner one, robbing it of its necessary fuels like moisture and momentum. Here's an example from Hurricane Wilma. Notice how in the first picture the eye is very small. This is a telltale sign that the eye wall replacement cycle may about to happen. We go forward in time and you'll find that the second eye wall has started to form. By the last frame, the hurricane has completed the eye wall replacement cycle and the eye is much bigger than when it started. Other notable examples can be found in Hurricane Katrina, Andrew, and even Floyd to name a few. Yesterday, the hurricane hunters found evidence that the eye of Matthew had shrunk to, shrunk to 8 miles in diameter, which is rather small. And they also found a secondary maximum of wind outside of the inner eye wall, suggesting possibly that second eye wall. And this has led to some minor fluctuations in intensity over the past couple of days, possibly due to an eye wall replacement cycle. Now, secondary eye walls were once thought to be rare, but thanks to technology such as satellite data and the hurricane hunters, we're constantly learning more and more about hurricanes.